Hey Church, great to be doing devotions with you today. And we are looking at key relationships from the Bible and today we are looking at the relationship between Ruth and Naomi. I encourage you, go and read the book of Ruth. It's pretty short so it won't take you too long. The story of Ruth and Naomi, this really is a story that goes from tragedy and grief to just real beauty and joy. One of those stories that's like beauty out of ashes. Now we read and find that Naomi is in a foreign country. She's just lost her husband and her three sons. Now her daughter-in-law, Ruth, though grieving herself for the husband that she's just lost, she makes an incredible choice and she chooses not to go and abandon her mother-in-law like the other two have done. They've kind of gone back to their own, their own families. But she chooses in this moment not to abandon her mother-in-law, but selflessly commits to taking care of her, like for life. And for me, this whole story, the standout for their relationship is just Ruth's fierce loyalty. It says here in Ruth 1 verse 16, But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. Wow. Ruth had a loyalty here that says, I'm in this for the long haul. A loyalty that says, whatever it takes. A loyalty that says, no matter what. Ruth really here makes a covenant to Naomi to say, I'm with you, even until death. And I reckon these kind of covenants are less are less common these days. We live in a world of cancel culture, in a world where people say, you know, oh, I'll see how things pan out. Uh, I'll be with you for as long as it's good for me. I'll be with you on my agenda. But Ruth's commitment and loyalty were not based on what she could get out of the relationship, but based on sacrifice and commitment. And I wonder if we're honest, how many of our relationships are based on these foundations. And for me, when I read this story, I genuinely, I'm, I'm inspired, but I'm also super challenged. I want us to be people, church, that are fiercely loyal to our loved ones, our family, our friends. Let's not be people who are self-seeking in our relationships, who operate everything on our agenda or for what we can get out of it or for when it's good for us. But instead, let's be people who are committed to one another, fully committed to lifting each other up, to being each other's protector, to speaking words of affirmation for encouraging one another, that we are, just like Ruth, fiercely loyal. And I reckon that when we operate relationships like that, we truly reflect the loyalty and love that Jesus has shown each one of us. So I need to take a moment today and just ask yourself honestly, you know, where's your commitment level with your relationships? And maybe today you want to just commit afresh to being loyal to those people. Come on church, let's be a little bit more like Ruth and choose to be fiercely loyal. Church, I love you, I'm praying for you and I will see you real soon.